Danish TV through the Danish Refugee Council um, office in Denmark uh, funded the Nigeria program with a specialized project for girls, for adolescent girls. Knowing that uh, the conflict in Nigeria has gone on for the past um, 11 or so years, a lot of the youth and the young people are really affected by this conflict, uh, by the consequences of, of a long protracted war. And so uh, this project was designed to specifically support adolescent girls and the people around the adolescent girls. So the families, people who take care of them, many of the adolescents in the north, adolescents in the northeast of Nigeria, because of the war, because of the consequence of the war, find themselves in very difficult situations where many of them either have to enter into early marriage or they have to uh, do some some work. They are not able to continue with school, and so as a consequence of this, they they have a very uh, deprived kind of life. And so this project uh, was there to really try and uplift the lives of adolescent girls, who many of the programming opportunities that are there just do not target them. So it was a a gap that was there in this response.
kawai akan layi muna zuwa gida ce mutane mu yi wanke wanke mu yi shahara da ba ma samu mu ci da ba ma samu mu ci abinci mai kyau ba ma samu mai sha mai kyau muna zuwa muna wanke wanke da shahara ana biyan mu kudi kan sun an kwaya mun sana'a an kwaya mana su yanda ake gaisuwa da turanci da su menene da su karatu haka an kwaya mana su ma kafin a fara kwaya mana sana'a ma an biya mana an biya mun kudin makaranta ina zuwa gashi hannar ta ji ne waye da mama ta ma tana zuwa jeji ni ma ina zuwa jeji da baban mu yaro su amma gaskiya yanzu mun daina zuwa ba kamar da sosai ba zai iya nima in kwaya maka waye na suna zuwa in kwaya musu su daina yawo su ma gaskiya ban da abin da zan saka da ni tv ina gode musu sun kwaya mana abubuwa da dama sun taimake mu rayuwar mu na yanzu ba kamar na da ba muna jin dadi sosai an ba mu kudi gashi na su siya kayan sana'a na ma na siya inji ma ana mun murkade da shi in na samu riba an aje shi in na tashi bukata zan iya doka kudi daga ciki da in siya abu da zan yi bukata da shi project was meant to support girls in uh, building their self esteem building their knowledge in various components and also supporting them to be able to sustain themselves to to avoid this uh, negative coping for instance there's a lot of exploitation both economic and sexual in the camps because a lot of girls and women are not uh, because they don't have formal education uh, they are not able to access formal jobs or better opportunities so what happens is that they, there is a lot of dependency on men and people who can be able to provide for them and so by equipping them with uh, skills it actually empowers them to be able to to survive and to be able to to fund for their families so the the mentorship program is multifaceted it's supposed to support them in terms of uh, building their knowledge in a lot of areas their knowledge in uh, in reproductive health their knowledge about themselves their confidence levels uh, building their business skills uh, Uh, giving them the capacity to participate actively uh, to voice their opinions to voice their viewpoints to look for opportunities to really look for the opportunities that are there in the northeast because despite it being a conflict ridden area there are very many opportunities and this project specifically helps young girls to be able to source out for those opportunities in a way that impacts their life positively <laughs> So DRC was able to speak to community leaders and also stakeholders diverse stakeholders before the implementation of the project in 2019. 200 girls were identified for the first circle. While 100 girls were identified for the first circle in Ngala. So the areas of operation in this project is um Ngala and Meduguri all in Bonu state. The girls were identified from Muna corridor. We have girls from Farm Center, girls from Muna Elbedewi camp, girls from um Custom House Musari. All these are locations within Bonu state. which were all in the same axis then in ingala in ingala we have um, girls from the arabic camp girls from gomboru even as well as um, iss camp so we've been able to work with the community leaders to ensure that the acceptance of drc in such projects danish tv project is the first project that has first included adolescent girls in its programming in northeast nigeria most of the programming that have been assigned are strictly for women men there is no specific program that has targeted 
adolescent girls as danish tv this project is specific to adolescent girls because they are the most targeted when it comes to gender-based violence as well as other forms of abuse my role as a teacher in danish tv is to inspire to motivate encourage and um, educate uh, the adolescent girls. When I came in, I met uh, a lot of them. They don't know what greeting is all about. They don't know how to relate with people. They cannot even uh, sit down comfortably here. They are shy. Some of them come here crying every day. And when we met our first contact, I tried uh, all I can to make sure that they, first of all, adapt and feel free with the environment. And then I started uh, gradually introducing them to the basics of uh, learning, teaching them uh, how to count, teaching them ABCD, which is the basics from where they can now learn to combine the different alphabets we have. Then they can spell their names, sign in, and uh, from there, the PSS activities, sometimes we engage in PSS activities. We don't, I don't just teach them um, literacy. I do PSS activities sometimes. We come here, we have Ludo games, we play games, because I do check their moods. Some of them will come, sometimes you discover that they are not looking uh, free, they are not smiling, they are looking worried. So, uh, and I engage them into all those activities. Before you know it, they get uh, free and they start laughing and there we go. So sometimes we do activities before we go for literacy and sometimes I just start off with literacy. So a lot has been going on. We were able to mentor them for several months and we were able to get and know their own skills and what they wanted to do. We were able to know their interests, areas of interest. Some of them were interested in tailoring. Some of them had interest in selling things like um, beans and other things. Some of them had interest in making local perfumes and some of them had other interests too. So based on their own interests, we were able to identify those interests and we, we gave them advice. And after the advice, um, we trained them on business management. Then, when I be umbo magayaro be zoba mama na zoba muje muduba. Lafia ko ba lafia ba. Kuma munge munga ya shaba mbanda ya na inde muka ko ya musu. Still, man, I'm also very glad you're here. Har watara na ma iya yin. When I abu abu and be kamata sega iya yin suba. Tese ra se dole se suzo sega ya man gashi 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 abu ndemi kachiki. Enna kuma na abu nandum mare. Kireng aurend anasa su dole na. Kuma na abu sisha ora har iya yin suma na chemo su be kamata. Kuma ya ran ang aura loka chemo tin de loka chemo beye. Bo kuma sana amen chemo. Dia oiru wana kama yana faru. Kuma muna chega ba mungo de o Danish TV de seka chere wana. Awo. Social worker ni ana. Ina local case, ina registration, ina identification of case. Kuma ina in follow up, ina make a referral, dipe ina yi. Case ya de kapal kong project ina harzuwa yanzu ni mana karu dewa. Dan da ban ni de kawaye dewa. Amwe yanzu ina de kawaye dewa. Do kuma da ban saba de muta ni zama atiki muta ni dewa ba kuma yanzu na saba. So, if you have a lot of NC experience, you can see that my mom is going to be a lot of shower, a lot of energy, and a lot of energy. But the town got a lot of energy. It's going to be a lot of shower, a lot of energy, and a lot of energy. So, it's going to be a lot of energy. It's going to be a lot of energy. It's going to be a lot of energy. So, it's going to be a lot of energy. Agaskia DRC Danish TV na munga sauyin da yawa ƴan mata domin ƴan mata dama suna yawo haka a ballagaze akan titi 
amma tun wannan frogulan Danish TV da ya zo nan gaskiya an ga canji sosai an kawo Danish TV kuma mun karu ba mu mentor din ba mun karu sosai ba lafiya an kai mu training an yi mana wani training maganganu abubuwan da 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 yara mu muke tafiya da yara mu idan yaro yayi muke abu ba ke ringa bace rai ki ringa sine wa yara ki ringa yin maganganu da ba shi da amfani to da aka kai mu aka mana training wallahi ne a gode wa Danish TV ya taimaka mun har da ni rayuwa ta bala ba ma yara ba ya gani da yara suka ce tunda ke kina da yara za ki iya zuwa nan ki dinga koya yara nan wajen ma abin da ki koya yara yin na ce insha Allah mun koya musu lokacin da muka zo muka same su wani ma mun kan kansa ma bai iya babasa wanka mun yanzu muka zo muka dira su yanzu sun daina sun gyara komai da komai ya komai yana tafiya mun gode wa Danish TV abin da yake musu Allah ya karfafa su suma Allah ya kara mu kwazan da za su kara abin da za su yi lokacin da ina zuwa DRC Danish TV nan gaskiya rayuwa ta wani kala ta kun zo DRC nan gaskiya sai na tafi gwana na tafi irin su jeje hakan nan na je na digo ita cewa ku na zamu ci abinci amma yanzu kam Alhamdulillah gaskiya DRC ta koya mu abubuwa da dama gashi na koyi karatu so good morning so afternoon barka da yamma good evening so go ka tafi form ka zo say tomorrow say go be gaskiya na gode wa Danish TV gaskiya ta taimaka ma rayuwa ta sosai shekara da dama dai ban samu nayi rawa irin na yau ba gaskiya ina yi wa Danish TV godiya da har ta sani na tuna da abun mu na gargajiya na da ina mata godiya Danish TV nan gaskiya na zo ban san komai ba amma gashi nan zaman mu da suwar ta sa na koyi wasu abubuwa da dama ko ka mun magana mu da turanci baran ma san me ake fada ba yanzu dai ko da da daya ne ina ji din sun koyar da ni ina musu godiya da wannan Our relationship in response to humanitarian services with the DRC is too cordial because we are we look at and protection partner we do receive referral from the DRC we do also make referral to them thereby our beneficiaries who are duly be benefited from the different services that DRC provides in the areas of the protection services working with the adolescent girls is one of the great experience of experience we work with DRC since from 2016 and they have been a very good partner to us they are the main focal persons that pick patient directly we do more of medical intervention or especially on sgbv sexual gender based violence so we do refer to them and they do to us and it's vice versa This project has been able to reach uh, girls in two geographical locations that is Gala and in Muna which is in Jere LGA. However, those are just two tiny locations compared to the number of locations that are I need uh, and the number of displaced people in the in the northeast. It's a drop in the ocean, but it has impacted 600 girls and 1800 community members. And so definitely there is a big need because uh, many many uh, youth many adolescents are still out there are still in need of psychosocial support still in need still carrying on adult responsibilities having to adjust and having to uh, look for means of survival and ways to cope uh, with the ongoing conflict and the fact that the conflict in the northeast has increased and so there is uh, definitely need to be able to reach to more adolescent girls 
to more young people to be able to at least turn their narrative and make it into a positive narrative. The same way this project has turned the narrative of 600 girls, it would be wonderful to turn the narrative of the many, many other girls who are in the community who do not have um, a reprieve, who, uh, and they, they, there's a big gap in terms of youth programming, in terms of adolescent programming in the Northeast. It's extremely underfunded, and there's a, there are the very high needs. There, there's very many uh, young people who are out there that the schooling system cannot be able to accommodate, and definitely there's a big need for us to be able to support them. Uh, and any, any kind of support would really be appreciated, and it would go a long way into changing the narrative for the next generation. Thank you.